Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you a bit of footage I've captured over the last four weeks. I had a conversation with a guy last year, last summertime about trolling for mangrove jack and he was talking to me about how productive that method of uh, fishing is. And this year I thought I'd put a bit of effort in and um, see if I can catch a couple of jacks on lures. So over the last sort of four or five weeks, I've been refining my methods for trolling for jacks. And um, I thought I'd share with share with you guys some of the sort of tips that I've, or sort of the techniques that I've learned that seem to work well for me. I'll take you through the gear that I use to start out with, so you've got an idea of what I'm fishing with. The first rod I have here is a it's a baitcaster, it's a Shimano Cranks. Um, this is a five to eight kilo rod. On that, I have a Tatula uh, Daiwa Type R, which I run 20 pound braid and 30 pound FC Rock Leader. That's a little stiffer rod. I like to run the bigger profile lures on that. Uh, there's nothing to stop you running smaller profiles on it, but it's very good if you're trolling for Trevally um, and stuff like that with the bigger sort of profile lures. The second rod I use is uh, Team Daiwa Dread Black, which is an eight to 14 pound rod. I run 15 pound braid on this spinning reel and I uh, usually run around 20 pound fluorocarbon to my lure, which is, this is a high seas fluorocarbon. This is a slightly longer rod. Um, you can run smaller profile lures on it without any problem. You can really feel if that lure is tracking nicely in the water column when you're trolling. So that's why I like to run a seven foot rod as well as a shorter bait caster. So the lures that I use primarily um, are these smaller sort of profile lures. This, the, the first one here is probably my most productive so far. This is the Grand Searcher by Evergreen. Now this lure is, for me, has caught me quite a few jacks. It's a quite an expensive lure, but it swims perfectly in the water column when you're trolling. Um, when you're running those speeds around sort of two knots, this thing just tracks really nicely in the water column. It gets down to a quite a good depth, um, and that profile there is, is a profile I like, that really small, fatter, sort of stubbier sort of style lure. In my lake system, if I'm looking for live bait and I'm fishing for jacks, I'm looking for bait just marginally bigger than that or around that sort of size. For me, that works in this system. So I really like that lure. It's done, yeah, it's caught me some great fish. You'll see in this video, uh, we trolled uh, early morning and, and late afternoon and caught good fish on that. The other lures I also use for trolling are the, uh, as you'll see in my one of my earlier videos, these die with double clutch. I've upgraded the hooks on that. Um, these are Viper, I think they're BKK Viper hooks. I actually caught a solid jack just running the original trebles that were on it. Big mangrove jack. Have a look at that. Absolute potato. I was just, I basically just had to back down on the drag and really play the fish, but I caught a fish on it. So, you know, you, you can get away with using the original trebles, but I, I like to upgrade just for just for that, um, that safety. I, I don't, I don't want to lose a good jack of the boat because the trebles are average. Same with the other lures I've got there. I've, I've upgraded the, the BKK Vipers on these ones. The strong hook's really, really sharp. Um, and you get really good penetration when you hook up. The other lures I like to run also are, obviously you guys probably will know these. These are the Jackal Squirrels. Um, Pink Eye Suji is one of my favorites. That's a really good color. Um, and I also like to run these smaller profile ones as well, like these Realis Shads. Uh, little laws like that, they'll catch you everything pretty much. They'll catch your GTs, they'll, they will catch your jacks, uh, they'll catch your brim as well and flatted and all that sort of stuff. So if I'm trolling for jacks, I want to be trolling around that sort of two knot speed. That for me works. Um, I, I, what I'm looking for in my system is structure. I'm looking for rock edges, I'm looking for drop offs, I'm looking for any mangrove sort of structure, pontoons, you know, jetties, are pretty, if you're fishing for jacks, you really have to concentrate on structure. I do have a Helix uh, side vision sounder, which I use a lot to work out where in my system that structure is. And then when I'm out trolling, I'll focus on target those areas. I took my nephew out a couple of weeks back and hit one of those spots that I saw come up on my side vision when I was going by one day. And I thought to myself, this is gonna be a good spot for jacks, for trolling for jacks. This nice, muddy drop off and this rocky edge. We, we trolled through there and he hooked his first jack. Oh, Sam, that's a cracker. It's all about putting the effort in um, and having a look within your system where those areas are gonna be that are gonna be most productive and, and, and working out a sort of plan of attack as well. 
if you hone in on those areas, you, I think you're gonna find you, you'll, you'll pick up jacks. So trial speeds around two knots. You wanna be right up against that structure as close as you possibly can be. And preferably I like to run two different depth lures. I like to run a deep one obviously on the outside of the boat away from the bank and then a shallower one running quite close to the bank. When I'm on my own, it's a bit tricky trolling two lures, so I'll pretty much just focus on one. So early mornings, late afternoons, they're probably the best times. Um, Tide-wise, I'm not really too concerned about tide so much. I've caught jacks on high and low tide, middle of the tide. Jacks in my system are quite transient. They move around a lot, so they're not holed up in one area all the time. So it's all about covering ground and working out in your system, the system that you fish, where the areas are that are gonna be most productive. In this video also, I'm gonna show you some trevally that I've caught on the troll. You're gonna get trevally as bycatch if you're just gonna target jacks. Um, they're really good fun. Early on in the piece, I was trolling quite fast, and I think that's why I was picking up a lot of trevally, and I was using quite larger profile lures. So I was using this, this is a, the Lucky Craft Pointer, and this is the uh, Realis Jerkbait. Now, I caught quite a few fish on just these two lures, and they were trevally, and they were on the troll, but I was trolling quite fast. So, you know, you will catch trevally, um, and they are really fun to catch on the troll. They'll come in and they'll just obliterate those lures and, and you'll get your rod right bent right over. Um, and they're pretty, it's pretty awesome financially catching trevally on lures on the troll. So these are the two that were my sort of go-to. Um, and if I'm gonna troll specifically for trevally, I will up my speed, I'll up towards that four knot mark. And I'll also target areas, uh, corners of, of lake systems. So I'm, I, the reason I do that is that a lot of the time when I'm in my boat with my sounder and I'm looking at those edges, I can see bait hold up on those edges. They seem, it seems to be in close and it seems to be right on the corner. So I'll, t I'll focus a lot of my energy around those corners if I'm just gonna troll for trevally. But I'll be pulling the lures through quite quick through those zones. I've hooked quite a couple of trevally just on the troll, wrapping around corners or coming out of a main opening. So those are the kind of areas that I like to target if I'm gonna troll for Trevally. Um, but as I say, slightly quicker speeds if you're gonna troll for Trevally, you will get them. But afternoons, late afternoons and early mornings are probably the best times for me if I'm gonna troll for them. So that's kind of it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just, just fire them through in the comments section. I'll try and answer them. Um, I'll play the footage for you now. And yeah, just get out there. Work out what your system, what, where the structure is in your system if you're going to target jacks. And yeah, just get out there and get trolling and, and no doubt you're going to pick up some fish. All right, I'll see you out there, guys. Just smash. 
smash that law. Man, he's pulled that hard. It was unreal. Far out. Went so hard. Absolutely unreal. Nobody. He's off. Ha, ha, ha. 